So what do I want to moan about today? I'll tell you what I'm going to moan about is James Madison. I represent my fucking self. I hate, I hate. No doubt that this lad is an unbelievable player. So much quality and caused Arsenal so many problems um, in yesterday's game. But he's a fucking cheat. It is as simple as that. We've all watched the videos. We've seen all the footage. Ainsley Maitland-Niles never touched him in any way, shape or form. If the referee would have thought there was contact and Madison would have just gone down but got up, then you can blame the referee. But it was Madison's reaction that got Maitland-Niles sent off. Rolling around the pitch and screaming as though he had just been shot from a sniper in the stands. You cheated. You conned the referee. In no way did Ainsley Maitland-Niles touch you in any way, shape or form. You lied. You then got up and had the audacity to hug Maitland-Niles as though like, oh, sorry, bro, didn't mean it, no. Uh, you're a cheat. Unbelievable footballer, unbelievable talent, but you cheated. You conned the referee and it's just disgraceful. Now, if the FA had any balls, they would rescind the sending off offence and take away that second yellow card and they would actually ban you for what you did. We'll wait and see. So let's have a look back on the games this weekend. Of course, the top two won and it goes down to the wire for that race for the title. Um, Liverpool won, of course, convincingly against Huddersfield. And Manchester City, they've done enough to get past Burnley. Goal line technology helped them in this one. Um, Sergio Aguero with a goal. Um, you're looking for that race for the top four and absolutely nobody wants it. It's just that simple. Spurs lose at home to West Ham. Uh, very convincingly, um, you have to say, on the balance of play. Uh, Manchester United and Chelsea, they draw and Arsenal get slapped away from home at Leicester. So um, the race for the top four is still on. The battle's there. And um, any one of those four sides um, can still finish in third or fourth place. It looks very clear now that Spurs are going to finish third. They've got that advantage. Chelsea are currently sitting in fourth, but Arsenal are still hanging in there in fifth place. Manchester United have got the toughest one. One more win for Chelsea and I think that is it for Manchester United. They will be three points behind them. Um, and the goal difference is that significant that it's not going to swing around even if Chelsea lose a game. Um, Arsenal though, they are, as I said, very, very close. And all it takes is Chelsea to drop points in one of their last two games. Even a draw. And Arsenal win their last two, they take that fourth place. So... Um, we'll wait and see what happens. So, yeah, there we go. Um, relegation is pretty much sewn up. Um, Brighton got a very valuable point um, against Newcastle. And I think that's pretty much it for Cardiff. Uh, one more defeat and they're down. Uh, joining Fulham and Huddersfield. So, um, everything that's interesting is up the top of the table and not down at the bottom. There we go.